Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Game Instead of Com video, we're going to be taking a look at Assassin's Creed Unity on the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox One, giving my initial impressions of what I think of the title on both platforms. Over the next few days, we'll be having a full graphics comparison and frame rate analysis on the consoles, possibly the PC as well, depending on, well, the performance issues that are currently miring the release of the PC version. So, this title has a hell of a lot of bugs which are not shown in this particular video because we're focusing primarily on the graphics and both platforms do a fairly good job. Now my initial um, performance analysis is slightly off topic of the graphics of course is the Xbox One version does have a slight advantage over the PlayStation 4. It's not huge but the PS4 version does run slightly slower. The main time you have uh, graphical slowdowns actually is when there is a hell of a lot of uh, basically NPCs on screen. It can happen in other cases as well, for example, particle effects, be it, albeit explosions, smoke, and so on and so forth, but definitely one of the most notorious ones is definitely the NPCs. In terms of texture quality, the quality is fairly uniform over both platforms, but the anti-aliasing is a big problem. In some cases you're going to notice like white lines around objects simply because of the rather ununiform way that anti-aliasing is applied. I believe it's a post-process, possibly FXAA, and it's not particularly that great. It's not too efficient. And interestingly enough, on the PC, FXAA actually has a major performance penalty, which is very, very unusual considering FXAA is basically, well, pretty approximate. Um, it's not really supposed to be having the same performance penalties of like MSAA, but still. In terms of texture quality, the consoles range from it looks quite nice to, well, that looks a bit low resolution. And there's definitely pop-in on both platforms, and it's pretty prolific. Shadows are notoriously bad. Um, you're going to notice it pretty much throughout the, your experience of playing Assassin's Creed. Um, shadows, lights... Even characters' dresses and models will sometimes just change on a whim. And it's literally a case sometimes of one to two footsteps can mean the difference between one character's model and another. And just to clarify, we're not talking about a level of detail here, where there's, say, additional detail popping in. We are literally talking about a completely different dress or a completely different character, character's face. It's pretty, pretty um, jarring at times and really does help to spoil the immersion. Lighting, however, looks pretty good on both platforms. Leaves um, and tree branches and so on will inter interfere with the lighting and you can definitely see that reflected in the shadows, so that can look pretty nice. Anyway, you can probably see the rest of that through this video. We will be doing, of course, a full article and all of the other bits and pieces you'd expect. So hopefully you've enjoyed this rather quick graphical preview. I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.